Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Ghassan. Today I'm going to show you how to update your device to iOS 12.1.1 or iOS 12.1.2 using SSH probes or iResto and iRestore and also Nostro Reboot. Okay, on this video we'll update the iPhone 6s. Also it's working for iPhone 7 and iPhone X. I didn't try it on other devices because I don't own the old, old devices. Okay. Please do it at your own risk and it's not working for iPhone X Max, XX Max. Also, please sign out from your iCloud on the device itself. The laptop you uh, you should have laptop with 64 bit device, 64 bit. Okay, for iPhone X the process will uh, I mean the update using SSS probes for 12.1.2 or 12.1.1. The face ID is uh, is working perfectly. But please make sure that you choose the right SEP and the right baseband. For iPhone X, GSM model, use ICE BBFW, which is the baseband, ICE baseband. For global, you should use BBFW uh, MAF. I hope it's clear. Okay, first of all, you should download iRestore. I'll show it to you. Here is the iRestore. I will put all the, the links on the description. Here is it. Okay, this no need. Okay. Open the iRestore. This is the program iRestore. Okay. It will open now. Here is it. Okay, what else we need? We need uh, the SHSH files, of course. And we need the IPSW, the firmware, which is you will update to 12.1.1 or 12.1.2. In this tutorial, we will up update to 12.1.2, which is, uh, let me let me show you, our device is iPhone 6s, which is the last one, 16C104, not this, the last one, 12.1.2, which is the, the build number 16C104, okay, I already downloaded it. Here is it, 16104, 16 C 104. Okay, what else we need? We need this uh, website extract me to, the, to take the, uh, the SAP, the baseband and the build manifest from the last IPSW signed by Apple. Okay, we'll, we will go uh, first of all, also uh, before that we will set the nonce. If your device is on iOS 8, iOS 9, and iOS 10, or iOS 10.2, you should uh, install new term or M terminal from the Cydia, write SU, Alpine, and this command. Also, you will take the generator, which is the code which starts with 0x, from the SHSH file for 12.1.1 or 12.1.2, as you like. Okay, as I said, write the code which start with 0x which is from the SHSH file this one okay be careful the s in word system must be capital this one okay last command nvram space and minus p if you got this photo which is right here true you that means you set the nonce correctly if your device is on ios 10.3 used uh, vortex nonce which is from this link and install it using CDM Bactor. If your device is iOS in iOS 11 on or iOS 11.3.1, use Nonce Reboot 11.3.1 and install it on your device itself from this link. Open it on Safari and download and install Nonce Reboot. If your device is iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1, jailbreak it and set the nonce easily from this side. From this uh, place, okay. A few devices iOS 11, uh, sorry, iOS 12.1.2 or iOS 12 between these, not iOS 12.1.3 or later. Use Nonsense Reboot 12.xx. Okay, as I have today, um, let me show you one second. Okay. What's happening? Okay. Wait. 
Okay, let me close it and open it again. On the reboot, uh, sorry, three utils. More real time screen. Okay, I, today I have non reboot 12.xx, which is I will uh, use it today. Okay, after installing non reboot, you should set the nodes. I will do it now. Uh, I will go to the SHSS file 12.1.2. Use the last one always, no app nodes. Also 16104. Okay, I will download it again to show you. Okay, I will open it using Notepad. Now search for string this one and use this code which start with 0x and put it here okay I will write it down now here is it same okay now click return success the generator has been set that's it okay now we will move to the next step which is very easy and simple let me close three tools and close this okay now after uh, setting the loans which is the most uh, the, the most uh, the, it's very important step okay um, after setting the loans as I said now we will move to the next step which we will use uh, IPSW to to take the SEP file Okay, from the, the, the other side of the iPhone, which w when they write designed by California, associated in China, model number, you should have model number on the other side of the iPhone. Okay, I will write it down, which is start with A, my iPhone 6S, it's A 101688. Okay, find my device. Here is it, iPhone 6S. Okay, browse all iOS releases. We, sh we will use the signed uh, firmware, which is 12.1.3, uh, to take SEP and wristband and build manifest. Copy the link address. Now open extract me. URL. Write it or oh, paste, make paste. Okay. We should wait until it's finished. Okay. Here is my SHSS file to take the SAP, the, the right SAP file. We should uh, make sure that same in N71M. This is my SHSS file for iPhone 6S. We should make sure that choose the right one or the right SAP which start or it's included N71M. Let's open just it. Uh, we will wait to until it's open. Okay, the SEP file is down, down, here is it, SEP, SEP, and SEP. Okay, now, as I said, we have N71M, N71M, so we will use N71M, which is at the end, IM4P. Okay, I will download it, I will download it. Okay, now we will use also the, the best band, how to choose the right best band, as I said, we will use this... Uh, link or this website go down 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 best band best band best band best band devices okay i have 6s where is it okay iphone 6s use mdm 9635 as you have on your if you have another device you should use the another device now go down until the last uh, sign firmware which which is 12.1.3 uh, we will use 5.3.2 baseband so I will download 5.3 not this 5.3.2 baseband this one okay I will download it last thing we need from iOS 12.1.3 which is signed by Apple signed by, uh, by Apple build manifest playlist That's it. Okay, we will wait until it's uh, downloaded all. And now, 
let me show you ok we will move all the files to the to the desktop let me move it SAP file the baseband yeah and the build manifest ok that's it now we will open again the i restore don't forget to set the nonce as i did before two minutes ok now choose the IPSW the firmware you will update it to 12.1.2 choose IPSW go to desktop ok this one 16C104 choose the SAP this one make sure that you choose the right SAP as your device have the model N71M or N71 only as it on your device to make sure you you will to, mo to make sure that you choose the right one you will uh, see the SSSH file here N71 MAP or N71 okay I will choose the SAP now the build manifest not this sorry maybe this one let me see maybe I download it again the build manifest let me delete it and download it again sorry okay oh, it's, that's it build manifest playlist it's okay okay it's bound build manifest sorry now the SSSS file n 71 MAP 16 C yeah this one last thing the best band which is M MAV last in last word dot bbfw okay that's it you you have this uh, chooses don't use it unless if you have I, ipad wi-fi you will choose no baseband only you don't use la, use the latest, latest sap or use the latest baseband don't use it at all okay now go yes it will start now my device now is in recovery mode don't uh, play with your device don't don't uh, touch it and don't touch the cable Un uh, unless it's finished the process will take around uh, 10 minutes or maybe more maybe 12 minutes okay let me see what else I have okay I will put all the websites and the links on the description baseband uh, website okay anything else no okay let us wait until it's finished
almost finish almost finish okay as we can see now success restore finished cleaning up done restoring succeed okay thank you for watching please like my video if you like your if you if you like my video please give us a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching it was very good video thank you for for watching and bye bye